bottom in that sub three ERA, Singy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the mound. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate, and that's what he's been to this point. We'll see how he is today. Taylor Ward stands in now and watches strike one. And it's fouled away. The pitch. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. It's a good take. Got him swinging. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. And the batter now, Jared Walsh. And takes low for ball one. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. So now one and two. Got him swinging. Some high cheese for strike three. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Check swing, but he went too far. And now it's even one and one. And now two and one after that missed inside. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. And now it's even up. Two and two. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Angels go down one, two, three. And now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Welcome back. And getting the call here, Griffin Canning. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. And he deals. Fly ball to right. Moniak. Sizes this one up, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One down. Batting second, the shortstop, shortstop Corey. Corey. And here's Corey Seager to hit. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. There's a strike. It normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. MVP. MVP. Bounce to the right. 
And he handles it himself for the out. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That, that is an excellent pace. Nathaniel. Nathaniel low up to hit. And that's in there for strike one. And fires okay. in a fastball at 95. And down on strikes. Rangers go down in order. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Scoreless after one. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Anthony Rendon. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And the slider catches the zone. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. The 0-2. And ball one. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a ball and two strikes. Slow roller to first, and he grabs it in foul ground. Next pitch is outside. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Next pitch Careful. misses way outside. And a swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Here's Gio Urshela. That hits the dirt. And that's ball one. One down, base is empty. Inside no. just missed. I think it's very Ball. important okay. to establish the inside part of the plate early. Sets the tone for the rest of the game. 2-0. Now this one's crushed. Down the line. Hooking. Foul ball. No, good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that backside just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. That's in there. And now two and two. No score here in the second. Next offering upstairs. Okay. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. On the ground to the left. To first. Yep. And yeah. that quickly, two away. That exists. That exists. The right, the right fielder, number 16, Mickey. Mickey, Mickey Moniak. Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. 
in there, and it's 0-1. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The pitch. Look One out, ball. almost He's got him upstairs. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Angels held in check. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at the ballpark, Who stepping in the long Rangers. ball threat, Adolis Garcia. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Canning, back to work. And that's oh, downstairs and outside. One and oh. And the 1 0 misses low. Got to be real careful here. 2 0. He's hunting for his pitch. Good hitters count the 2 0. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. The wind of the pitch. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop-up sometimes will carry out. Well, that just misses, and the count's goes. full. Downstairs, and it miss. misses, ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really go. well. It's a really nice plate appearance. The catcher. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim, he's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. Runner, runner, runner. runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second and great jump. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Garcia at second with nobody out. The 0-1 oh, is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Rusty Valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us. Maybe the best name in the league. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid one, no doubt. I mean, who's better to ask than you? I kind of wonder if Rusty is his actual name or just a nickname. Yeah, no clue. And there's a strike. Anyways, Rusty's got a good zone, very good on the corners of the plate, but he'll give pitchers a little bit above the letters and below the knees if they're earning it. Next ball offering two. upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Runner at second, nobody out. On, Next no, pitch misses inside. Three, Three and two down. Two strikes. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Ward calls it in, and there's one away. Batting six, six. the center, center fielder, field. Leone. Leone. Here's Leone Tavares. Canning checks the runner, no, he and he can't. dives back in safely. <laughs> that one finds the zone, and that's strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. Rush, 
This one rip, but foul to the right. The pitch. Oh. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Kicks and deals. Hey. Sets him down on strikes. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Now it's Robbie Grossman. Swinging a foul straight back. And it skips in the dirt. Two outs and one in scoring position. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. And that's in the dirt. Two and two. On the ground right side. Oh, and it goes go. just foul. Runner leads away at second. Struck him out looking. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And welcome back. On to the third inning. Here's the catcher, Chad Wallach. Chad Wallach. Ivaldi, back to work. Out to short. Seeger fires over to first. And one away in the top of the third. Batting it. The shortstop. Andrew. Andrew, Andrew Velasquez, Velasquez. The next to hit for the Angels. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Chris, one dubious note on Evaldi. May 18, 2022, he matched a big league record, gave up five homers in an inning against the Astros. The Alvarez, Tucker, Pena, Brantley, and Gurriel all took him deep. And the right-hander deals. That clips the corner. That split, he's a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Next one misses, two and one. Here comes a pitch. That one fouled off, two and two. Top of the third, no score. Just off the outside edge. Careful. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Next offering is fouled back. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And the Angels are gone in order. And we are still scoreless.
Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Travis Jankowski. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Urshela to first in time. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Smith. Up next for the Rangers, Josh Smith. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. That clips the zone. That's strike one. The next pitch misses at one and one. And here it comes. Two and one. Fouls one off. Two and two. The why to kick the pitch. Three and two. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the righty deals. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. The batter, number two. So the Rangers' batting order turns over. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. Flied out his first time. Simeon measures six feet even. 32 years old, and he's won a silver slugger in the American oh, League. And the first pitch misses for ball one. A little bit low. Oh, that's a ball. Right. Two and old to count. Here it comes. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Next offering is down low. Corey Seager waits on deck. Hit in the air, right field. Moniac has a beat on it, and that'll do it. Rangers go down quickly there, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. And a pitch. That misses the zone. And that is ball one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to low. Ow. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the, the ball out, out of the, the air. Lets hitter, the hitter. defense work behind hitter, him with hitter. another ground ball. Whoa. Good execution. So now the DH spot. Jared Walsh went down on strikes his first time through. Grounded to low. He takes it yeah. on his own. Yeah. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Now batting the center, the center fielder, fielder, Mike. And now batting Trout. Mike Trout. Struck out looking in his first at bat. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. First pitch, and he just misses. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. 
Chopped left side to first, and he beats it. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And first offering is fouled off. Hits for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. Trout leads off first with two down to the inning. And the pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And downstairs. Next offering misses. Two and two. Two outs. Fouls it back with two strikes. Struck him out swinging. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Angels strand one. Still no score. Ready to go, bottom Lady four. Yeah, the batter now, Corey Seager. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Left-hand hitter waits. Now a screamer into the outfield. And Seager is set down. One up, one down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Ball one, no strikes. The Rangers still looking for their first hit in this one. And another ball. Right down the chute, two balls and a strike. Good eye in that spot. 3 1 now. Line drive to short and caught. Nice swing and good solid contact. That ball was smoked, but needed a little more width to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. On, and that's a strike. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That one back there. And out of here. Adolis Garcia goes the other way. His 16th homer of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Oh, 
always scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the opposite field. No holes in a swing like that. And that time, that ball was hit hard. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. First no, offering, and it just off. misses. The wind of the pitch. And that's Two in ball. the dirt. No Canning. Strength. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Off the plate inside. And now three balls and a strike. in there for a strike at the bottom of the zone okay. well he's been good for the most part is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit no partner every pitcher's a little different I, I liken it to you sometimes you come in and you're not as focused and i kind of do what it takes to get you on track and then you have a great <laughs> show uh, so perhaps it's the same with him nobody really wants their rhythm broken up but sometimes they need a little pick me up eighth pitch of the at back coming up Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Gio Urshela now at the plate. The first base is number 10. Gio Urshela. And a pitch. And a good eye there. In the air, right field, Grossman gets there. He's under it. He's got it. And there's one down. Now, now, now Mickey Moniak. Mickey. He struck out Moniac. swinging at his first at bat. Fouled off. He was late. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Misses oh, off the plate, and the count is one and one. And there's a ball. One strike. Next pitch is popped up. Smith moving under this one. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's two down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice now ride bad. up in the, the zone catcher. right there. Hitter yeah. looked like he was on Whoa. it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Wally no. takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. Foul ball. That pitch gets the corner and a count one and two. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. The one two. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Angels go quietly there. They're down one nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth, go. and go. now Leody Tavares. The Leody Tavares. 
The right-hander back to work. That clips a corner. Just missed. One ball, one strike. Just nope, off the off inside the edge. And oh. delivers outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Righty delivers. Three Swing balls. and a miss. And the count is filled up. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues oh, to climb the eight. ladder. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just Leading missed off. his spot. The, the hitter didn't offer at it. Right now he has somebody to worry about Robbie. over at first. So Robbie. next to hit for Texas, Robbie Grossman. First well, offering misses the mark. Well, these Rangers doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. The starter's pitch count is high because they've worked the count full against him five different times. Their pitch selection's been off the charts today. Canning checks the runner. Tavares back in on a dive. Swing and a miss. One and, two. and the count, one and two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. At the belt and fires. Two balls, two strikes. That's Set three. down on strikes. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. Grounded out his first time. Cannon keeping an eye on him. One and it's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Canning checks the runner, no, he and he's it. back in there. Back over to first, Stay and he's back again. Straight. The 1 0. And he takes a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Swing and a miss. One, one and two. two a one two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Righty to the plate. That smash towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Now bad at it. The third, third baseman. baseman. Josh, Josh Smith. Josh Smith will hit next. His first at bat was a strikeout. One ball. Pitch out, ball but no action. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. I think he was sitting off speed there. Tavares, the runner at first with two gone. Runner. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Ground ball up the middle. 
Slings to first. Play made. That ends the inning. One left for Texas, but they still lead it 1 0. And welcome back. All we set for the top of the sixth. So in now for the Angels, Andrew Velasquez. Velasquez. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. What a no. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over-aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Kicks and deals. On the ground, just fair for a base hit. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit. That one's in there, 0 and 1. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Here's your one. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Ouch. Yep, he had two Thanks, strikes man. on him, and he hit him. Well, he didn't miss by much right there, well, but it was just three. enough to clip him on the way yeah. in. Back to the Ooh. top of the Angels lineup. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. In there for strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Yo one. Swing and a miss. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Grossman pulls that one down. Runner tags up for third. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Now that designated hitter, Jerry Wall. Walsh in the box now. Take strike one. Uh -oh. I think one ultimately strike. you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Swung on. Broken back grounder to third. Smith oh. tossed to second. Got him. The double play cuts down the potential tying run. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Bottom of the six. Now it's Marcus Simeon. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. To third. Oh, great grab on the dive. Gathers and throws, and he gets him. Nicely done. Third base would have to be so quick no, with their no, first no, step no, reactions. No, no. Hot Short shots job, like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect Senior. example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Seeger, batting with one down, takes a strike. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because 
there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Only two now. And now well, one and two. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. Bounced up the middle. Under Shellup. Two up, two down. Now batting. Yeah, first, first base baseman. Not that yo. Two Whoa. outs, base is empty. Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. Lowe measures six feet, four inches, 27 years old, and he took home the silver slugger last year in the American League. There's a strike. The wind and the pitch. On the ground, right side. Throws to first. Three up, three down, inning over. And the Rangers set down in order. But they hold a 1-0 lead. Welcome back. Here's Trout. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The tying run at the plate. Misses inside, and it's a ball and a strike. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Josh Spores up and throwing. Smith, the lefty, warming up as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one in the air, center field. And there's one away. Now it's Anthony Rendon. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is fouled back. Close, no, but call the ball. ball. Now two balls and a strike. That one missing inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And a pitch. Good take plate it. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, it might be time to dig into that bullpen. He's the looking a little fatigued to me. Gio. One gone runner at first. Urshela. Gio Urshela getting ready to hit. First offering, runner goes. Right side, takes it himself. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And next for the Angels, Mickey Moniak.
Ground ball to the right side. On to first. And that is that. Angels leave one. They still trail one nothing. Bottom of the seventh. Now here's the Rangers DH Adolis Garcia. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Canning back to work. And yeah, that's too no, high. That's a ball. The 1 0. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Aaron Loop, the left-hander, up and throwing. Otani, the hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. And he deals. Nope, that's low. Out to short. Whips it to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. The catcher, catcher number 28, 28. Jonah Heim. Next up for Texas, Jonah Heim. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Ball one oh. there. One ball, one strike. That oh. misses oh, off two. the outside edge. Two and one. On the ground to first. A flip to the pitcher Eight covering. Down. Two up, two down. The center fielder, number three, Leody. So up next, Leody Tavares. First pitch just misses. Just missed. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. The 2-1. Just off the outside part of the plate. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Three, two. Line to left. And it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now the Angels manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Griffin Canning, done for the night. Only two hits allowed for him, so a great effort. And we'll be back after a quick break to tell you about the new arm. New pitcher on here, Tucker Davidson. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Tucker Davidson. Up next for the Rangers, Robbie Grossman. A switch hitter batting right. That's down oh. and in. Step off, throw to first, no, he and he's back in safely. Tavares, off of first with two away. Another throw over, Set. and he's back in that time as well. Let's go. 
to first, and he breaks for second. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Rangers one, and the Angels nothing. Angels making a move for a pinch hitter. Matt Theis. The pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And a 1-1. One -one. Oh. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Jose LeClerc, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. On the ground to third. Gets the catcher by a step. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Position perfectly. Andrew. Andrew Velasquez. Now at the plate. One for two. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Strike two. Oh, two. Outside. Him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Next to hit, Luis Rangifo. In there and it's 0-1. Well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. Looking to get the tying run on base. Foul ball there. And the right-hander deals. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Angels held in check. They trail here. one nothing. Your Staying in the game on defense, Matt Theis. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Robbie Grossman. For the Rangers, the right fielder, Robbie. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. The pitch. Out towards right center field. And it falls. So a man on base to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. So a man aboard. So next to hit for Texas, Travis Jankowski. Come on, face it, Runner, 
The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Really nice swipe of second right there. He knew he had to get a really good jump on the pitcher because that catcher can make up some time. And such a good catch and throw guy behind the dish. Nice job right there, but he just beat it. No outs. Runner on second. A little bit high, maybe. Two balls, no strikes to count. Two balls, no strikes. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Base hit. Trout hustles it back in, and that's good enough to hold the lead runner at third. Runners now at the corners. So they're at the corners now. 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 Next up for Texas, Josh Smith. The bottom of the order here, Boog. you got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run, and the number nine guy at the plate. That's in there. Strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. The now snap throw to first. He and he's back standing. Grossman at third. Jankowski at first with no outs. Come on, go and now the lefty in the dirt blocked to second, no, but way there. too late. Safe there. And now a single might score two. Next offering oh. is downstairs. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Left-hand batter waits. That's a ball. Three balls. Two strikes. Swing and a ball popped up. Base hit and a run in to score. Now a long throw home. And he's in there as two runs score on the play. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. Here is Marcus Simeon. First pitch, no. and he just misses. One and oh. Out in front and foul to the left side. The 1-1. One -one. Run around the goal. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Velasquez makes the catch. And there's one down. The batter, batter number five, five. Shortstop, shortstop, Corey, Corey. Seeger. Man at first, Corey Seeger stepping in for the Rangers. And that one oh. off the outside edge. One ball, no strike. Let's go, Ranger. Pitch oh. misses. Two balls, no Two strikes. And that oh. one is inside. Still only one out here in the inning. And there's ball back. four. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right no, there, Boog. The last one wasn't even close. No, no. Shohei Otani taking Whoa. over on the mound. 
And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Shohei Otani. Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. Singy Shohei Otani has been as advertised. Rookie of the year in 18, MVP in 21. He has impacted the game in a major way. And then, of course, he was on the cover of MLB The Show in 2022. Well, he's doing something that we've never seen done before and just absolutely phenomenal that he can be that dominant on the mound and be one of the top hitters in the game. And just watching that, it, it, it's got to take your breath away a little bit if you're a manager or a teammate to see this actually happening before your eyes. Well, you're already down in the game, and not just by a couple, and then that error allows a run to score, and this is where things can really start to fall apart. As a team, they need to pick themselves up, find a way to play better baseball the rest of the way. One and two here. Lined into left center, and that should be extra bases. The run scores from third. It's 5 nothing. Throw is high and over his head. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now it's going to be Adolis Garcia. Knocks it down. No throw, and a run is in to score. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Runner on at first with one gone. Jonah Heim will hit next. Down the middle for a strike. 0-1. That MVP I mentioned about Otani in 2021, he was actually a unanimous MVP and the first unanimous AL MVP since Mike Trout in 2014. Other guys that have done that, Ken Griffey Jr., Frank oh, Thomas, Frank Robinson. One, one. Movement in the bullpen, Aaron Loop. The southpaw is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. And a pitch. Check swing, no appeal. Two and one. Move to first. Garcia back easily. Next pitch is outside. Green one. Crush to right, and that one's going to lead the park. Out of here. Home run. A two-run shot. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 8 nothing. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Aaron Liu gets the call from the pen, and he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year, typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. And the pitch is outside, ball one. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark, but obviously out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Huh. And it's one and one. One ball, one strike.
That's the third. Sends it to first. Got him. Now batting, right, right fielder, fielder. Robbie. Robbie Grossman. Grossman. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Robbie Grossman. There's a strike. Looks like he sacrificed no a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. A one down. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth, and here is Taylor Ward. Ivaldi back to work. That's inside. 1 and 0. Oh. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Cody Bradford appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. King getting cranked up as well. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. and misses it's a strikeout that's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across especially in terms of movement I mean that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment if he keeps it down it's just so tough to put wood on Walsh stands in here takes ball one low And that's outside. What? Now three oh. and oh. Three and hey. that's through there for a strike. And now it's filled up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Right side, hard hit. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. The Rangers get a shutout on the mound. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. 8 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.